What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Tinder Tasty Tea Days. If you guys don't know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days is, it's basically when the family come together and we rate Wizard 101 Stitches. The stitches are sent in by you guys via Twitter. Uh, if you want to participate, just use hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Add me in a post, leave an image of your stitch, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to follow me, by the way. But yeah, other than that, let's get started. For this episode, my boy Lee Lee bought a quit. I I. I, I, I think that's how I pronounce it. Lee about to quit sent in a pretty tasty stitch, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, you know, it's, it's on the better side of stitches that I've rated so far. But he said, fire drip with fire emoji at Smojo SF. Hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Nice job on a post. You did everything correctly. Now let's rate your stitch. Now guys, you know how we rate stitches around here. First rating will be on uh, if it actually looks good. If, if you know, just in just in general, visually, if it looks cool. Number two is on uniqueness. How unique are the gear sets? Do other people use the gear sets? How unique is the stitch in general? Have I seen the stitch before or gear sets in general and stitches? And number three, doesn't make sense. Does the materials of the stitch actually correlate with one another and actually make sense for somebody to actually be wearing? First off, let's start off with does it look good. Now, in general, I would say yes. It does look good. I do believe it can look a little bit better, mainly because of the fact that the uh, wand and the stitch actually don't match, in my opinion. You know, you got the fire wand there, which makes sense. However, it's more yellowish than red, and then your stitch has a dark red with a main white accent on it. And, you know, the white with the dark red doesn't really match, in my opinion, with the load of, the yellow sword or the, the yellow wand or axe. I think it's an axe. The yellow axe that you're using. So, in that sense, it kind of doesn't look the same to me i don't know how to explain it either way uh you know other than the wand if we're just talking about the boots robe and the hat i think it looks straight you know what i mean it doesn't look bad you know the colors match and everything looks like it's supposed to go together so if i'm rating it just from how it looks I'd give you a solid 7 out of 10. Actually, you know what? I'm going to backpedal a little bit because I remember in the last Tinder Tasty Tea Days, I used different elements to rate, such as the background and the pet. Now, in this image right here, you're using the character selection screen, which there's nothing wrong with that. However, you didn't really use a background that really makes your outfit pop like you could have been in dragon spire or some other place with a lot of fire in it since your stitch is based off of fire being in that location would probably make your stitch look better in my opinion on top of that i can't really see what pet you're using if you were to have a pet that would match with your stitch that would make the stitch go up a lot more including a mount if you were to have a mount to match your stitch like the um i don't know the fire horse from the um from the from the halloween pack something like that would also make your stitch go up so with those things in in correlation i'm probably have to drop you back down to a five out of ten my friend i don't really see a good background you know what i mean i don't really see uh what pet that you're using i'm not sure what pet you're using and i don't see a good mount or what mount that you're using you know with those three elements missing or out of the category along with your wand we're just based off of the hat and the robe and boots i think a five out of ten is is pretty solid you know what i mean it's pretty solid so just from looks in itself i'm gonna give you a solid five out of ten next up i'm gonna rate does it make sense now in my opinion it looks like your fire wizard is going for more of a ninja look or you know or like a shonen go go hung in you know whatever look you know what i mean uh yeah the the robe and the hat really make me feel like you're going for that look now there's a few things that i think are a little bit off when it comes to the stitch. Well, one main thing is your boots. Those, in my opinion, those are not ninja boots. And I've, if I'm thinking about ninja boots, I'm thinking about, you know, the slippers that they use with the little, the little, um, like the, the stuff from the Mushu pack, you know? That has a, a nice ninja look to it. And I think there are some bizarre gear that has a ninja look to it as well. But those boots, those boots don't look like a ninja look to me. You know, I'm, I'm envisioning all the anime I've watched. You know what I mean? I don't see any anime characters wearing boots like those. In the sense of does everything make sense with the material wise your boots look like they're made out of cloth your robe looks like they're made out of cloth your hat looks like it's made out of straw in the sense of that it does make sense it's just the boots look off to me just the way that they are so if i were you i would probably try to find some other boots to change those out with and see if it works other than that i think your hat and your robe are pretty solid um the only other thing i can say is that your hat you know just because of the way that the hat works um that white in the hat looks more gray like it looks like a darker white than your robe and your boots other than that i think it's pretty solid now the facts of your wand i'm not so sure about that one my friend now i do feel like some ninjas probably use axes in the way that you're using that axe right there you know so i i mean it doesn't entirely not make sense but i feel like there are better options out there than the axe 
um but i do appreciate you for using that act so let's let's go to the next one which is uniqueness first let me rate doesn't make sense i'm gonna rate the doesn't make sense category a solid seven out of ten i'm gonna give you a seven out of ten on that category now let's get started in uniqueness does is your stitch actually unique does it you know do, do other people use the same gear that you're using or the same exact stitch that you're using now there's a few things that i do like about your stitch i will admit um but there are some things i don't like uh, the main one is the hat i see a lot of people using a hat you know don't get me wrong it is a good hat and you can make a really really good stitch out of it but that's probably why a lot of people use it for those reasons right there now there are a lot of other hats that have the ninja look that you could maybe try if you're going the unique route um, but it's really all based up to you. It's really up to you know. It's, it's really up to you, my friend. Um, but yeah, a lot of people use the hat. So in my opinion, I feel like that hat is not unique. Now with your wand, I don't see a lot of people using that wand. There's just the, like I, I haven't seen a lot of stitches where people use that axe wand. So kudos to you for using the axe wand. It's probably really hard to make a stitch out of it, and I respect you for it. So so good job on that. Along with the boots, I don't see a lot of people using those boots. So in that sense, it is unique. But at the same time, the boots are pretty plain. And I think you, you know, they're just some basic boots, but that's a thing. But at the same time, not a lot of people use it. Now, what's your robe? Robe is a little bit in the middle. I have seen people use that robe, but I haven't seen a lot of people. You know what I mean? So this is going to be a little bit of a hard one to rate. The most unique thing I would say about your stitch is most definitely your wand. Not, and no one uses that. You know what I mean? No one uses it. And I love it when people make stitches out of things that people don't use. You know what I mean? Because it, it makes me feel like they're actually trying and they're actually trying to make a really unique stitch instead of going, you know, the whole full elegant stitch or, you know, commander robe, you know, you know, yeah. But, you know, in that sense, I, I, I do think you did a good job. The only thing that I have a problem with that isn't unique, in my opinion, is ba mainly the hat. Um, The boots are kind of like, eh, and then the robe is like in the middle as well. So I'm probably going to give you a 7 out of 10 on uniqueness. The wand will really bring you up, but the hat bring you down, and the boots and the robe are kind of in the middle. So, yeah, I, 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 give you, I give you a 7 out of 10. Overall, that will calculate yourself all the way up to about a 6.3 out of 10, my friend. 6.3 out of 10. Not a bad stitch. I do think you can improve in some places, such as getting new boots. Um, probably getting a new hat that, you know, looks better, is more unique than the one that you're using. And with your wand, you could low-key keep the wand the same. Maybe change the colors of your uh, of your attire to match the wand better. Or if you want to get a new wand, you know, there's katanas, there's uh, there's shurikens, there's you know, maybe some two-handed spears or something. I'm not sure, but you could probably find something well to go with your ninja look and still work with the color scheme that you're going with. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, overall 6.3 out of 10, not bad. Could use some improvements uh hopefully you know hopefully you guys enjoyed this tinder tasty tea days if you want to participate in tinder tasty tea days all you got to do is go over to twitter follow me at smojo sf make a post using the hashtag tinder tasty tea days and leave an image of your stitch and i'll see you guys in the next episode of tinder tasty tea days have a great day everybody have a great evening have a great morning and i'll see you guys on the next one peace